Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. So today we've got a vintage pencil review here. Um, I was at a garage sale and I found these pencils and I paid 25 cents for this pack of 12 uh, Empire pencils. And uh, always fun when you run across something like this. And so uh, I wanted to sort of check them out. I haven't done anything with them yet. They're just as I found them. And so here's the package it came in. Empire Non-Toxic Pencils. Made in the USA. Has the Pencil Makers Association seal on it has a UPC code on it. So I'm guessing this is from perhaps the uh, late 80s, early 90s maybe. Uh, could even be later than that, I'm not sure. Uh, put it in writing, made in USA, contents 12 pencils, number two degree, Empire Barrel, USA, and it's really hard to read there, but it says Brentwood, Tennessee. So I'm not sure when uh, Empire Barrel moved out of Tennessee um, or ceased production, uh, but I bet you somebody, one of you might know, and you can share that. Other than that, that's really the package. It was wrapped in cellophane here. It's been torn. Uh, there are 12 pencils sort of squashed in here. I'm going to take one out and take a closer look at it. So let's focus here. There it is. This is the trusty Empire Pencil Corporation made in the USA. Uh, 916 is the model number, a number two. You'll see it's got a chrome toned crimped on ferrule with an eraser that's as hard as a rock we would expect. There's the core. So how about that? I would say that is fairly well centered. Um, I'm not sure about the wood. It has a uh, sort of a reddish hue to it so it could be cedar. We're going to sharpen it and find out and try out this trusty Empire pencil. Okay, we're going to sharpen up this pencil here. I wanted to use a, a blade sharpener just to get an idea of the wood. And it looks like, sure looks like cedar to me. I'm trying to see if I can get a whiff of anything here. Beautiful ribbon coming off of this pencil as we sharpen it. Look at that. Nice. So, hmm. I'm trying to. Yeah, I think that is cedar. There it is. Okay. It's good. Let me get a pad here. And we will try out here.
anyone knows the vintage of this pencil, please share it. Um, it is a smooth writer. Uh, has very much a nice number two dark, let's say medium dark line here. Not too smudgy, actually, all things considered. Um, I'm not going to even try the, the eraser on the pencils hard as a rock. So let's, let's try erasing with the pink pearl. Uh, Pentel. Um, this is a radar. You know, it's not erasing super cleanly as you can see. There's a foam eraser. I did a little bit of a better job. Try magic rub here. But you've got some shadowing there. So for raceability, I'm just going to give it a C. Maybe a C plus. Um, you know, it's just okay. But it is fairly smooth. Has a nice tone. Yeah, well, you know, trusty, made in USA, there it is, the vintage Empire pencil, Empire barrel pencil, and uh, hey, for 25 cents, how could I go wrong, I figured. So, anyways, we'll add this to the vintage collection, and I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoy what goes on, uh, give a like, uh, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon here on Always Analog.